three days of improvements at Everstoke, all kinds of good stuff. Some of you already noticed in the background of some of the other videos, because I had to film them out of order because of juggling all this different stuff. But this gets back, everything's on cue now <laughs> in the right direction. So I hope you enjoy it. It's very nice, things are getting better every time. These animals are ridiculous. Uh, so many different things, it's amazing. I need to buy more cameras, but I'm always kind of wishy-washy on these cameras. And now the cameras like have been sold out and the prices are higher, so I gotta figure that out because it's one of my most favorite parts about this place. Let's go. My friends, <laughs> I'm back. After a long hiatus, I got married. I had a nice little wedding. I went on a honeymoon. That was pretty cool. And Sarah is getting a master's degree at Harvard. So I moved her to Boston. But now I'm back at the land, the wild and wonderful world of Everstoke, our giant massive plot of rugged land in Northern California. And I'm gonna be up here a lot more now. So I've been gone, but my partner in this adventure, Aaron from MTBing Adventures, has not. He has been at work doing all kinds of stuff. We are moving forward every single day. I think the color might be a little weird because there is some smoke in the air. It's actually not that bad right now. Yes, an hour up the road, the largest wildfire in California history is currently burning, but down here, we are safe and sound so far. Remember how bad the road was? It's gotten a lot better. You've still got to have a little bit of respect for the road, but it's nowhere near as crazy as it used to be. Now I feel like I can invite people up here in good conscience and not ruin their trip by <laughs> messing their car up or having them have to back up and go up and try it five times before they make it over the hump. And this is why the Dirt Wizard has a new toy. We have had quite a transformation here. Look at this. This is amazing. This was just kind of nothing, and now it's something. We got some wood chips from one of the local tree service. They dropped them off. We've got our lights around here. We got a, a rock wall starting. Got my van parked right there. So nice, the hammock. <laughs> it's working good. So today's little project is to get a shower up and running. We've got this kind of material that, uh, it's from a water park that my uncle worked on years ago, and he saved a couple slats. So it's interlocking, tongue and groove, and then boom! Cousin Gino left this thing behind. I think we've already got it going. That, that video was short. <laughs> okay, the structure's looking pretty good. Now we have to figure out how the heck we're gonna hang one of our many showers that we brought to test out in the tree. So if we're gonna try to go hang the shower thing in the tree, we've got this solar street light that we're gonna put in the tree. Just a big old mega thing. It has motion sensing, just it can stay dim at night. And then if it senses motion, it can brighten up and it's got its own panel. Really cool to have a self-sufficient system that can go way up in one of those trees and light up this whole spot. <laughs> So it's hard to see on the camera because they're LED lights, but it's blinking, it's charging, it's full power. We're good to go. We've got the remote here, turn it on. Easy, <laughs> okay, hopefully we're not too far away being so far down. So we still gotta figure out how we're gonna hang the shower thing off of that. We could do a hook, we could do a two by four, kind of cantilever it out, but uh, maybe tomorrow. We got other fish to fry. My dad brought a stove, so we gotta put this thing together so he can cook up some spaghetti and meatballs. Easiest assembly ever. Just put the wheels on. <laughs> We're good to go. Well, I gotta put the, the grill thing on too. And now we got this one. That's more of a grill for meats. This is more of a stovetop for other stuff. 
check out this little piece of equipment my dad found inside this forestry supplier catalog, Jim Jim. Never heard of it, but it has a million things in that catalog that would be awesome for out here. So these are little sprayer things. We can keep them around when we're cooking. We can keep them around when we're felling trees using the chainsaw. We've got two of them. We are ready to go. The propane tank we were gonna use was out of propane. I had it in the van forever. I thought it was gonna work. So I just took my stove out of the van and we got the little propane on it. We're good to go. My dad pre-made these meatballs and vacuum sealed them to bring them up and boil some water and we're good. So we just had an awesome dinner and now I'm checking out all the stuff that Aaron has roughed in. <laughs> it's so good. Got tabletop jumps. We got this jump line going. Still going to be a while till it actually beds in. We might need rain and moisture and a lot more work, but just to be able to get the backhoe up here, move dirt off that you're kicking down the road, trying to make the road nice. We got all this dirt, all right, put it on some humps and <laughs> oh, it's so good. And this actually connects all the way in to Kill Zone, the trail that you've seen before that we kind of had the swoopy back and forth. It's looking good, job well done. It's getting there, yep. it's getting there. <laughs> I can't wait to test that one out. And I definitely have not forgotten about the game cameras. We've, we've heard some intel that, uh, there might have been a ghost walker caught on film. It's a scary ghost walker. <laughs> so I'm gonna get these first thing in the morning because I wanna hike up to that other spot as well. So I'll get this card, I'll get the other card, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning. I can't wait, let's go. All right, here we are. Game camera still looks nice and undisturbed. DC power at 100%, that means it's charging off of the solar panel. I like it, let's see. Oh, nice, full bars on the solar panel. Unless red bars mean <laughs> it's out. I think it's good. So I figured it'd be a little smarter to actually hike up here with my laptop and dump the memory card in the field instead of hiking up to get the card, going back down, then hiking back up to put the card back in. Process improvements every step of the way. Oh boy, so we have not touched this camera in a month and there is 58 gigabytes worth of uh, footage. Maybe all false alarms, maybe nothing, but I'm very excited to go through it. Oh, there we go. A little midday bear, 11.50 a.m. Smaller guy, it looks like, actually. Ah, hard to tell. Foraging, <laughs> digging through. Bears always look like people in uh, costumes. Something is rubbing up against the camera. You could hear it walking. <laughs> Show yourself. We're never gonna see it. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Look how much bigger that bear is. You can just see it. Oh, it's going pee. <laughs> He's huffing and puffing. At 8.22 a.m., 66 degrees. He probably just sleeps the whole day. And this heat out here, whew. Amazing. That is Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, big old Billy, 5.37 a.m. And this is where I try to have some kind of marking where it's like that was the same bear, you know, the ear, the tail, the foot. Hard to tell. The size. It's worth every false alarm. Oh, another one, early morning. Looks like the same bear to me. You hear something, buddy? Whoa! <laughs> A hummingbird is up there while Big Billy is just sitting under the tree. Whew. He's not digging the unhealthy air quality from the wildfires. Was it the hummingbird that set off the camera? <laughs> Oh, gotta go pee. <laughs> this is the spot right here. <laughs> he really looks ancient. He has survived many a winter, a summer. Oh, those paws, the nails, the stories he could tell. Billy, is that you? <laughs> well, maybe I'll pack things up and uh, head back to the shred quarters. <laughs> So there's the game camera there, and this is the bed that Billy was in. It looks very small from here. 
but that bear <laughs> looked massive. So until we meet eye to eye, I'm gonna say that was a 300 pounder at least. So it's good to know the solar panels working good. It didn't seem like there were many glitches or anything happening. The info strip looked accurate. Sometimes the date would get messed up on some of the other ones. So, so far so good. I think it's worth it to have the false alarms just for the chance you don't miss something else because a couple of those bear clips started way too late. Like how long had Billy been dancing around on camera before the game camera decided to turn on? Aaron had a forester come out and walk the land with him and she gave us all kinds of information. He recorded it so we could watch it back. I think he'll probably have clips of it over on his channel, but just great information. This is a Jeffrey Pine. We've got, uh, uh oh, here we go, Douglas fir here. And then we've got a cedar over there. So we've got a good diversity of trees, mostly Jeffrey pine because that's what the loggers planted, I'm sure, after they deforested this area 50 years ago or whatever. We can't really tell, but that's what we assume. So she was saying that we could thin a lot, a lot, a lot of trees out here and that the healthier trees basically don't have another tree within 25 feet of them. So the more stuff is all impacted and together. Oh, that's an oak actually. So we'll probably leave that one alone, but man, this is the spot with <laughs> we got all every single type of different tree up here, but there's a lot of little spots like right up here. You can see four trees within a very small area. If we took a couple of those down, that one in the back would shoot up and be bigger and badder, especially right now in the historic drought where all these trees are competing for water. So if you cut down a couple, we can use the wood. We will definitely put it to use. Then that one tree gets to get even more water and not have to starve out here. We also got some information on bark beetles and there's definitely some evidence of bark beetle intrusion up there higher on the property. And really she said that trees are always fighting off beetles. There's always stuff trying to burrow into trees but then they, they use their sap. Ah, oh, she had a different word for it. Of course, I forget now that I'm talking about it, but they can basically shoot the beetles out when they try to intrude because they have enough water, they have enough sap to just fight it off. It's a natural way, just like we bleed when we get cut to kind of, to cleanse the system. But uh, when it's a drought, there's way less sap to be able to shoot out. So they can't fight off the infiltrations they get in. So. As we get on the land and as we try to manage this forest a little bit better, hopefully we can set our trees up for a good situation and not to get totally destroyed by all these bark beetles. Oh man, it looks like uh, camera number two is out of batteries. That's okay, I can fix that. I brought more solar panels. And then like we saw, this battery is at 100. That don't make no sense. Okay, I still got to look at the rest of the footage on these cards, but it's actually cool right now. So we need to actually do a little work while it's cool and then we can sit while it's hot and watch the footage of all the other animals that we've got. Aaron's already at it. We've got to get two. So now that we have this whole area really nicely dialed in, we want to do more. We want to go out even further with this thing. So the grumper has to go. That's, uh, that's today's big project. But uh, first, I've got to finish off the hole. One last, one last grump. We built this thing with the idea that we could skid it around on these four by fours. Now we're just gonna see how structurally intact this whole thing is. Cause uh, if it just pulls out of the ground, we're gonna have to go to plan B. Bring her on back. So we're gonna hook this onto the tooth here and he's gonna pull it back. Here we go, the moment of truth. It's coming. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get these lights out of the way. <laughs> Structurally sound.
lots more privacy in this location. And we've got the master plan. Well, we've got a half master plan. We want to get a septic tank. We want to get the leech lines. We want all that stuff. It's, it's just crawl, walk, run, little by little. Aaron's going to go out and level some more of this area. Give us some more shred quarters. We need more. He's going. My dad got this pickup bed tent at Walmart on the way up. <laughs> and he has not camped or slept outside in like 25 years. And he said he had a good night's sleep. So that's huge. You can't get people to come up here if it's completely miserable. You have to have a little bit of comfort just to make it work and not to be dreading it every time you come up here. So I'm glad he slept well. And I think the big street light that we put in was a huge help. We had it on all night and it looks like it only dropped one bar out of five. So hopefully it'll charge back up today and uh, be good for a long lasting time. We still got to finish the shower assembly. We've got the, the stall. We just need to be able to hang up something out of the tree and cantilever it over. But first I want to fill this up and get it warm. It's a lot more smoky today, but uh, the power of the sun, don't underestimate it. Here we go. It's got a little thermometer on the back too. Okay, we're starting to get a plan together for hooking the shower bag, getting something going in the tree, hang it down, at least for the 1.0 version where we can get it going off the side and into the, the old shower stall. We got 110 degrees on the old thermometer here. This is super heavy, so this will test it immediately. <laughs> wow, that thing is way heavier than I thought. Yeah. It so that's right. About Five gallons times eight pounds. But does the hose reach in? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Precious. Don't waste it. Duck down a little bit. So my dad just made an awesome meal for us and now we can finally catch up on the rest of the randomness of the game cameras. This is the one that is next to the pipe of the overflow of the well and it, there's a bunch of blank ones, like the game camera screwed up or whatever. Looks like it's just a bunch of birds. It's kind of cool, but I'm just gonna like zoom through these and if we see anything extra special, we'll, we'll mention it. This is so cool. Look, the hummingbird is there. And then I think that's a robin. Any kind of bird with the, the orange breast like that. I'd like to see a deer come drink out of there. Yeah. That would be nice. Or one of those fox. Yeah. I, I'm surprised those, those little guys are everywhere. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Dude, no double. way! <laughs> that's cool. Because <laughs> the fox is definitely the most common thing we see on the game camera. It wasn't there? <laughs> oh, dear! No way! <laughs> Clip 416. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Late night drink. I never. Oh, oh. no way! Clip, that's cool. Clip 421. I guess it is baby season, huh? Wow. That's really cool. And they're, they're scared. They don't, they don't want any part of it. They're, like, they're yeah, out of it's, here. It's a trap. <laughs> That's a brave future buck right uh, there. Oh, <laughs> something spooked it. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh, that's a good shot. The old <laughs> quail <laughs> bopping through. Clip 547. This must be why people like to hunt quail, because <laughs> they get all plump. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, there he is, fixing it. Who's that handsome <laughs> devil? <laughs> yeah, so now we're back up at Big Time Billy Bear's domain. There we oh. go, a little baby, clip 253. Perfect daylight there. It's so funny, I mean, all these animals that come by and then none for days and days and days, and then boom, back to having animals. Hey, it's me. Oh. <laughs> Chuka Cabra. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the entirety of uh, the footage up Roxy, there. Here we are. <laughs> game camera still looks nice and undisturbed. So now, the road camera. Finally, the main treat here. And see how wibbly wobbly it is? Look at I, that. I put the bigger stake in there. I'm gonna shoot down the road a little bit more, but I love this shot too, because we always see him kind of creeping around the corner. Yeah, clip, he's coming right at the camera. Clip, that is triple, cool. Clip triple O three. Mm, yum yum. <laughs> Whoa, oh. spooked. <laughs> clip 10, 
Deer That's is, cool. I gotta get out of here. Maybe that. And then see something chasing it. That would be the best. That would have been cool. Time. Skunk. Oh, oh crap. Skunk down low. This is like not far from the shred quarters right here. <laughs> That's bad news. Yeah, at I know. Nine, 930 at night. Oh. Also, you go out to take a whiz. And <laughs> if I ever get sprayed by a skunk, just shoot oh, me, man. man. Seriously. It's worse than having to face down a bear. <laughs> Jackrabbit. Oh, finally a yeah, rabbit. Yeah, clip 28. Look at this thing, it's lanky. It's got long legs, giant ears. Oh man, that's awesome. I love the diversity. I know. So many different things. We got things. so many animals here. It's, it's so, cool. so good. Oh, that fox had something in its mouth for sure. Clip uh, 68. What are those little things? You see the reflection of the eyes of like the chipmunk or the rat that it caught. Dun, dun, dun. Now that. <laughs> Everybody that says, oh, the, 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 the footprints I've taken and showing on Instagram, that is definitely a mountain lion. It's a mountain lion. Guaranteed. Long tail, muscular, amazing. And that's the shred quarters right yeah, there. Heading, heading your way. Like at 1047. Joe was sleeping outside. The Colorado kid is sleeping outside that night. <laughs> My daughter Bobcat. Is, oh, <laughs> that I haven't seen. Yeah. That's cool. Now look how big that thing looks. Yeah. It's. Man, it's hard to say, because those things are usually smaller. They're about the size of a... That's cool. Smaller than a golden retriever, but like, I've seen them up close before in Yosemite. Yeah, and see, they got really short Sh tails. Short tail, so the, the ears So the other one, different. without a doubt, is a mountain lion. Yes, for sure. And then this is definitely a bobcat. It's got the striping, like tiger striping on its thing. Now that we've got this going, I am going to actually take a shower. The water in the shower is still warm just from solar power. So I'm gonna get in there, see how it goes. <laughs> the thing we don't really have figured out yet is like, where am I putting my towel and my clean clothes? I guess just right there. Bar of soap, that'll do it. Okay, that was ridiculous how good that was. <laughs> I am so surprised the water was still totally warm. You have to crouch down a little bit to get your head wet, but everything else was fine. I got the bar of soap in there. I am totally amazed. I only used about two gallons of water. It only went down about halfway or so. I was constantly checking outside the tent to see like, oh my God, is it running out of water? It was perfect. It is very warm right now at night and uh, that has to help. If the outside air was like pretty chilly, I think it'd be pretty tough to like stop and get toweled off and everything. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there that was so good, way better than I thought it would be. Now I gotta do the whole wet feet thing and try not to get uh, dirty with my clean clothes. Are these my clean clothes or are these my clean clothes? How is it, Aaron? Oh, it's nice. <laughs> this is fantastic, man. S satisfied customer. Waking up the next morning and I just can't help myself but check the game cam every morning and I'm walking out and I just see these massive tracks in the dust. I have really big hands, not bragging, but uh, that is big old Billy Bear. I'm sure of it coming through. And these actually show up on camera better than in real life, which is kind of cool. So I'm sure we've got a little hindquarters sighting of Billy. And if, it, if we don't, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get a lawsuit going against Browning trail cameras. That's me. That's Billy. Oh, what a specimen. Look at the size of those snowshoes. Things are rolling with the grumper. We got the side panels going. We got a roof on. We got some side bracing going. And now it's time to put a door on it. I guess we're gonna be a little more civilized. Good to go, except for you gotta be able to reach to get out. <laughs> we'll need a little string there. Oh, perfect. My dad said we should put a combination lock on here so it makes it a little harder when you gotta go if it's an urgent. <laughs> 102 degrees inside the grumper. A nice little 38 Celsius. We did it. Oh God, don't fall out of the hammock. We did it. A very productive day, or a couple days, three days that we've been at it out here. I love it. It's always an adventure. There's always way too much stuff to do. I actually have to now 
film the videos you saw before this video came out. <laughs> it's a whole big puzzle. I'm juggling, trying my best. Whew. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're going to stick around, see what other adventures we get into. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail.